We are getting into the spooky spirit for Halloween today. A Nashville landmark known for its great shows and its famous musicians could also be haunted. Our Mo Hyder is live at the Ryman Auditorium for us this morning. And Mo, you're out there in the dark and the Ryman's haunted. Aren't you scared? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm outside instead of inside based off what I've been hearing, especially yesterday. But you yourself can actually find out if it's haunted or not by coming here tonight and tomorrow because Ryman is hosting what's called the Haunted History Tours. You can check it out for two days. People not only learn about the historic landmark, but some of the spooky tales that many don't know about. Some of the tour guides I spoke with say you're going to learn things you wouldn't on a regular tour. Now, the Ryman is more than a century old, keep in mind. So think about all the people who've worked here who have some of the strangest stories to tell you. Organizers say that's part of how they got the idea of putting on a tour like this. It's a way to share those untold tales just like this one. The old gray soldier. You hear about, uh, you know, the balcony was added five years after we opened in 1897. And I think it's the connection that was for a Confederate veterans reunion that, that, that was held in Nashville and held their meetings here. And since then, supposedly, there's a figure that's uh, seen uh, periodically in Section 11 in the balcony. And uh, he's kind of this gray old figure, right? This, this gray old man. And I think it's just that, that tie with that Confederate uh, convention that people. Say, is it an old Confederate soldier? We don't know. Now, also as part of this tour, guests will get to check out what's actually happening underneath that famous stage here. We're being told it's pretty creepy down there, so be prepared if you do want to go and check out that tour. It's, I mean, it's also told it's also nearly sold out. It's also a limited when it comes to capacity because of COVID-19. Only 10 people can check out one tour at a time. So if you do want to check it out, you can go tonight at tomorrow. The tours start at 7 o'clock. Also, that's, of course, an indoor activity for people who want to enjoy Halloween outside. Leland, what do people need to know?